Teja and Pranay started a business. Teja invested rupees 1 lakh and Pranay invested rupees 50,000. If their business earns a profit of rupees 5 lakh, then what will be the profit shares of Teja and Pranay? Hello partners, this is Pranay Sai and welcome to the partnership lecture. Before solving, let us understand the important formulae and concepts involved. What is partnership in a business? Two or more people associate with each other and invest capitals for a certain period of time. Now let's understand the types of partners and types of partnerships present. There are two categories involved in types of partners. One is a sleeping partner, another is a working partner. Who is a sleeping partner? The one who invests but does not take part in the business is known as a sleeping partner. And what about the working partner? He invests and also takes part in the business. As he is a working partner, he gains some salary out of it. And if the business turns profitable, he also gains his part of profit. There are two types of partnership, simple and compound. In simple partnership, the investors invest some capital for same period of time. And on the other hand, in compound partnership, the capitals are invested for different periods of time. These are the concepts involved in partnership. Now let's understand the formula and shortcuts which are necessary to solve the problem. The product of investment and time gives us profit. For suppose A and B invest some money for same period of time then capital of A by capital of B is equal to profit of A by profit of B. So if you want the values of any of these you can interchange and get the solution. Now third one if A and B invest money for different periods of time then capital of A into time period of A by capital of B into time period of B. is equal to profit of A by profit of B. The extra element which has been added is time. Next, let's assume if two partners are investing their money for equal period of time and their profit is P, then their shares of profit are C1 into P by C1 plus C2 and C2 into P by C1 plus C2. This is the formula for equal time period. If it is for different time periods, then C1 into T1 into P by C1 T1 plus C2 T2 and C2 T2 into P by C1 T1 plus C2 T2. With this, we are done with the formulae and shortcuts. Let's try to solve the problem. Category 1. ABC enter into a partnership investing rupees 35,000, rupees 45,000 and rupees 55,000 respectively. The respective shares of ABC in an annual profit of rupees 40,500 are. Here we can find three investors investing some amount and the annual profit is given. We need to find the respective shares. So I have named this question as profit shares of investments. Let's solve this. Firstly, let's convert these investments into ratio form. Therefore, A is to B is to C is equal to 35,000 is to 45,000 is to 55,000. And from this, we can get the ratio as 
7 is to 9 is to 11, isn't it? Now, let us look for individual shares of ABC. In this question, there is no time period given. So, the formula will be profit into C1 by C1 plus C2 plus C3, the capitals of 3 investors. The annual profit is given as 40,500. Therefore, 40,500, we are looking for A share, that is 7. So, 7 by 7 plus 9 plus 11, that is rupees 10,500. This will be A share. Similarly, for B share, we will be getting rupees 13,500 and C share will be rupees 16,500. So, these are C1, C2 and C3. On substituting the value, you will be getting A share. And to find out B share, this becomes C2. And to find out C share, this becomes C3. So, by using this formula, we can find the individual share. Let us try another question. In a business, A and C invested amounts in the ratio 2 is to 1, whereas the ratio between the amounts invested by A and B was 3 is to 2. If rupees 1,57,300 was their profit, how much amount did B receive? In this question, he is asking for B's share. A is to C is equal to 2 is to 1 and A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. So, B is to A can be written as 2 is to 3. On multiplying B is to A with 2 and multiplying A is to C with 3, just to equate the ratios, we will be getting A is to C is equal to 6 is to 3 and B is to A will be 4 is to 6. As we can observe, both the A's are equal now. Therefore, A is to B is to C will be 6 is to 4 is to 3. We have obtained the capital investment of the 3 investors. Now, let us calculate the B share and let us name these as C1, C2 and C3. As we all know, the formula is annual profit into C1 by C1 plus C2 plus C3. But in this case, we are finding for B share. So, let us change this into C2. Therefore, the annual profit is given as 1,57,300. 157,300 into 4 by 13. And on simplification, the B share is rupees 48,400. That is it. This is how you solve the profit share of investments. Category 2. A and B started a business in partnership investing rupees 20,000 and rupees 15,000 respectively. After 6 months, C joined them with rupees 20,000. What will be B's share in total profit of rupees 25,000 earned at the end of 2 years from the starting of the business? As we can observe, a new investor joined. Let us name these as new investor questions. Now, we will try to solve this problem. Let us write the given data. A has invested rupees 20,000 and B has invested rupees 15,000. They have started the business with this investment. When the business was started? 2 years ago, that is 24 months. And when did C join? 6 months after. Therefore, C's investment is rupees 20,000. Therefore, 24 minus 6, that is 18 months. Now, let us find out the ratio. A is to B is to C is equal to 20,000 into 24 is to 15,000 into 24 is to 20,000 and into 18 and we will be getting 4 is to 3 is to 3. We were asked to find out the B share. So, B share would be rupees profit into capital investment by total capital investment. Let us name these as C1, C2 and C3 and we know the profit. By substituting it, we will be getting 25,000 into, as we want the B share, we have to take C2, 3 by 10. This on simplification, you will be getting rupees 7,500. So, the B share is rupees 7,500. We will see another question. A began a business with rupees 85,000. He was joined afterwards by B 
with rupees 42500 for how much period does b join if profits at the end of the year are divided in the ratio 3 is to 1 in the introduction class we have learnt a formula that is c1 into t1 by c2 into t2 is equal to p1 by p2 here c1 t1 are the capital investment and time period of a and c2 t2 are capital investments and time period of b and the ratio of profit is given that is 3 is to 1 on substituting this we will be getting 85,000 into 12 this is 12 because it is for 1 year so 12 months by what is investment of b 42,500 therefore 42,500 and we do not know the time period of b therefore let us say it as x and the ratio given is 3 by 1 on cross multiplication we will be getting x is equal to 85,000 into 12 by 42,500 into 3 on simplification this value will be x is equal to 8. So, b joined for 8 months this is the answer category 3 a and b start a business with investments of rupees 5000 and rupees 4500 respectively after 4 months a takes out half of his capital after 2 more months b takes out one third of his capital while c joins them with a capital of rupees 7000 at the end of a year they earn a profit of rupees 5080 find share of each member in the profit let's solve this as we can observe the investors are withdrawing some amount of their capital after a certain period of time. So, I have named this type of questions as share or profit after withdrawal. Let us understand the A share. He initially invested rupees 5000, but after 4 months he took half of his capital. So, it becomes 2500 and in case of B he initially invested rupees 4500 after 2 more months of A that is 6 months b takes out one third of his capital so it becomes rupees 3000 now let us find out the ratio a is to b is to c is equal to 5000 into 4 plus 2500 into 8 is to this is because a invested 5000 for 4 months and he took half of his capital it became 2500 and he invested this amount for the remaining 8 months now for b 4500 into 6 plus 3000 into 6 b invested 4500 for 6 months and it took one third of his capital so it became 3000 and invested this amount for the remaining 6 months and finally c joins them after 6 months so 7000 is 6 this is his investment and he joined 6 months later therefore a is to b is to c becomes 40000 is to 45000 is to 42000 so this is 40 is to 45 is to 42 now we have understood the ratios and the annual profit is given as 5080 and we know the formula as annual profit into c1 by c1 plus c2 plus c3 these are the capital investments which we got here c1 c2 and c3 if you are finding A share this will be C1, if you are finding for B that will be C2 and if you are finding for C that will be C3. The rest is same like what we did in all other problems by substituting the values in this formula we will be getting A share as rupees 1600 and B's will be rupees 1800 and C's share will be rupees 1680 that is how we can calculate the individual share a b and c enter into a partnership and their shares are in the ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 after 2 months a withdraws half of his capital and after 10 months a profit of rupees 378 is divided among them what is b share this is similar to what we have done before their initial investments are given as 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4. So, this converts into 6 is to 4 is to 3. So, let us take them as 6x is to 4x is to 3x. 
this is of A and this is of B and this is of C. After 2 months, A withdraws half of his capital and after 10 months, a profit of rupees 378 is divided among. We have to find out the B share. Therefore, the capital ratio will be 6x into 2 plus 3x into 10. This is because his investment was 6x for 2 months and he removed half of his capital after 2 months. So, it became 3x and for the remaining 10 months, his capital investment was 3x. Similarly, for B, 4x into 12 and for C, it is 3x into 12. So, this can be written as 42 is to 48 is to 36. Therefore, 7 is to 8 is to 6 is the respective ratio. We have to find the B share. Therefore, B share is equal to profit into capital investment of B plus total capital investment. By substituting this, you will be getting 378 into 8 by 21. So, the final answer will be 144. This is the value of B share. I think there is no need to beat our brains to solve these questions. This is the end of partnership concept.